hi guys welcome to my channel hope you're all doing well so aries this video will be for you if you have any aries placements or if you're dealing with an aries all right so uh we'll be doing money messages okay work money career whatever it is that you're doing see what messages come out for you and advice and we'll be doing love all right guys so cancer just got a fully channeled love message you know it's been a while since i've done that it was just so they even use tarot let's see how it goes for you i might start doing that a bit more actually just channeled messages like it just I like how it flows um so korea let's look at your money aries let's see what's going on with your money let me use this deck here all right guys aries you're suspicious about somebody you there's somebody that you work with or that is asking you for money or something like that something to do then this could be some <sighs> This could be in any area of your life, okay? It really could be. There's somebody that you're, you're not sure if you can fully trust, okay? So you may keep your guard up uh, towards this person, especially if they're asking you for things. I feel like it's somebody who, or or there's somebody that around you and you're like, why are you around me? For some of you, there's somebody that around you that's really quiet and that um, that silence is deadly. You feel it. It's weird. It's like, what are they thinking? I don't like that. I'm get, I'm not even going to put crazy things out there, yeah? But <laughs> somebody is uncomfortably silent. Um, I don't... I'm not even getting, like, somebody is shy. I'm getting somebody is very socially awkward. That's how you'll know who this person is. Very socially awkward. Um, oh. Um, this... All right, let me, let me, I don't know why this is, but this message is coming up, but I'm just going to say it, yeah. Um, it's, this is not a shy person. This is somebody who, they think deep, but they are, they're, yes, they're socially awkward, so they can have social anxiety, but it's like, they don't know when to speak. They, they accuse, and when they do speak, sometimes it kind of comes across as um, really out there. eccentric um somebody has some kind of um what's the word conspiracy conspiracy theories and stuff like that okay I'm not saying that everyone that has that is weird no but i'm saying something about this person that i'm picking up on their silence is creepy their silence is you know what i'm getting you know like <laughs> say like you're out at, out at a bar and you're a female and then you just see that guy looking but like he could be right next to you and looking at you but not talking and you're like well if you wouldn't if you were going to talk to me you talk to me right now but he's just staring and you get this creepy vibe there's someone around you like that i i i don't know who that is to you or who this some of you guys will meet this person okay i just feel like they're, they're not really they're not fully there so i don't know when i say not fully there i feel like they've just lost touch lost lost um lost touch of reality okay i don't know why i'm getting that for you aries Maybe maybe this is somebody that you know because that drugs can do that, drinking can do that, okay. Um, schizophrenia, some kind of mental illness can do that to you, okay. Um, there could be some kind, there could be some kind of um, um injury they had, okay. I don't know what it is. I'm not even trying to like rock anybody. I'm just saying that's what I'm picking up on. But anyways, let's move on. Let's move on. I had to say when I feel things I have to say it I, like sometimes it just you need to know that for a reason but I don't I just feel like they're not mentally stable whoever that is okay ten of swords Aries when I started this reading I said to you that there's somebody that you you feel that's a bit suspicious a bit shady this is who I'm picking up on, this Ten of Swords. Whoever that is, is this is who I was just speaking about. And for some of you guys, yeah, if you're doing business with somebody or you work with somebody, say, for example, you're, um, you're self-employed and you've got somebody in... I don't like this. It's not to scare you. It's just that I feel like you could avoid it. Just know, just knowing, like, don't, do, don't work with this person. Don't give them a lot of money. Make sure you've got your receipts. If you have, like... See, Say, like, if, if you have a shop or something, make sure you've got CCTV, like, make sure you have cameras in there and all that stuff, yeah? There's somebody that you can't trust that will backstab you. Someone's 
someone's kind of like so there's a there's a um, opportunist there's an opportunist okay con man okay so i'm an opportunist or con man and if they're overly friendly and overly this they may just be telling you things that you want to hear okay now this is how you'll know if you can trust this person whoever this is i'm not saying everybody in general but this is how you know if you can trust this person okay i don't know why i'm getting this message for you but i am so i'm going to speak on it yeah when the pick when somebody has um good intentions for you they will not tell you everything you want to hear that's a people pleaser that's an ass liquor that's not what you, that's not what you're looking for you need someone who can be real with you yeah so when this person can be real with you and say look yeah like this business idea or this way or this strategy or whatever xyz or how you're doing this whatever your work situation is money i don't know why you need to hear this you They'll say to you, this is how you know you can trust them. They'll say to you, look, yeah, I understand why you 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 thought like that, or I understand why um like I, I I respect you know your input or whatever, but you know, I feel like this will benefit you more, blah blah blah. Like don't just some of you guys don't hire a yes man that's not gonna benefit you, okay? Benefit somebody that will challenge you, that will make you think outside the box, um, employ or be or work with people that will um let you know when when you're when they're wrong and stuff like that okay don't just hire yes people or don't just work with yes people or don't be a yes person yes 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 man yes sir don't do that okay i don't know why i need to say that anyways um okay two of wands This situation's happened to kind of clear out this person from your life, yeah? I don't know if you've gone through it. Some of you guys, this, this could have been your partner, or, yeah? Or a sibling, or a mother, or a father, or somebody around you that you've done some kind of um, transaction. Like, like, say, for example, someone said, oh, I'll buy the business off of you, yeah? Or I'll buy the rest of the house off of you, or... Uh, do you know what I mean? But somebody's kind of got their own motive, and I don't know if it's really... Uh, yeah, you're going to find out a lot about certain people around you, Aries, yeah. And I feel like that's a good thing because when, you know, your eyes are open, you can see who who's the snake, yeah. And you can see who needs cutting off and, and so you can move forward and be around people that you can trust, okay. Very specific message today, but a certain group of Aries need to hear this right now. Queen of Swords. The star, the world. Yeah, I told you told you this needed to end yeah ten of ten of swords is com ten completion the world completion right told you queen of swords make sure you speak up yeah make sure whoever this is make sure you let them know that you know yeah don't let nobody to take um take you for no fool yeah the star yeah and the world there's something that you're that you're working towards there's something that you'll be get do you know what this anyways this feels like like career, your life path, money, stuff going. It feels like a like a like a mix of different things. So whatever message you need to take from this, take it. If it ain't your story, ain't your story. I'm just gonna speak what I'm feeling, yeah. But the world, the complete. So the if a situation hasn't been working out, it's gonna end and it's gonna benefit you. All right. So let's see what's coming. What's coming after, please? What does um, Aries need to know? The Emperor, the High Priestess, the Knight of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles, better things. So if you've been at a job for years, yeah, or if, if you've been um really low, um, say like you're self-employed and you haven't been getting a much custom and stuff like that, the Emperor, yeah, bossing up, yeah, having your own stuff, having people work for you. And that's why, I think that's why all the messages was coming out about, make make sure you know who the snake is around you don't just hire yes people hire people with your um on, on your level yeah mentally like somebody who's intelligent yeah so that you could so that this person can challenge you and make you think about different things yeah so make sure you make sure you know who you're having around you i don't know why i could, could have to keep saying that the high priestess yeah 
some of you guys it could be tarot that you're doing some of you guys it could be something spiritual or it could just literally be spirit saying look trust your intuition yeah knight of wands so you know um you may have you may hire people or work around people or something like that yeah be around people that are quite fun you know just like carefree just whatever make sure that sounds like friends and family we all know it doesn't always work out yeah so make sure that you can rely on them yeah three of pentacles and the star there's going to be people that you've been wanting to work with yeah that's going to come and work with you that we or or um asking for your service or your product or or whatever it is that you do all right aries all right i feel like that's enough messages that's for me that feels more than work that was like general um you know like just a heads up with certain things and all that stuff yeah so let's look at your love life yeah um i will use this deck i'll use this deck oh aries i ordered some new nice new tarot cards and i can't wait to use them beautiful cards three of them all right probably be getting them next month though anyways aries 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 love you're going to be hearing from two people from your past aries one you thought you'd never hear from again someone's going to ask to meet with you a, a love interest i don't know which one it is well regardless of your um fine um relationship status okay someone's going to reach out to you oh hey aries how you doing oh you're looking great I hope, I hope everything's well simple as that don't have to be aries i'm so in love with you I, it doesn't have to be that level do you know what i mean someone's going to reach out to you okay or they may try to maybe you've got you change your number you're not on social media but regardless yeah oh shit I just heard the most random thing and I'm like, what does that mean? Do I say anything? What does that mean? Aries, you're not going to think I'm like, I've lost it now. Listen, I, I just heard sheepskin and I was like, sheepskin and I was like, oh shit, condoms. Well, obviously that's not actually not sheepskin, it's like the intestines and whatever. Um, anyways, anyways, anyways. Wrap up. When you're when you're having if you're having sex with somebody new, wrap up, okay? Who right? I'm just getting so many different things here. So Aries, there's someone don't have like if you're having a one night stand, don't just like make sure you protect yourself with with somebody, okay? Or if you're sleeping with an ex, use protection. You you may get pregnant you may impregnate them or you know or something not nice okay don't know what okay anyways anyways let's tell me about aries um love life please thank you ten of swords again How have you got Ten of Swords for both of your readings, the first card, different decks? What is it with these people that are going to betray? Hey, let me tell you something, yeah? Um, some, of you guys, some of you guys got really, like, shady people around you. Be care Not everyone's your friends. Be careful who, who, who you have around you. Don't just be friends with people because you're bored or because, of whatever, or because you've known them for 10, 20, 30, 40 years. No okay who the hell is it why have you got ten of swords twice what the hell's going on but obviously if, if even this with this love reading now for me to say you know um if you are um having a one night stand or something like that or if you're sleeping with an ex or something like that or, or just you know something casual wrap up i don't know why i've got to tell you that yet but i don't know if it's a thing where someone's going to try and act like they're pregnant or someone's going to get pregnant or someone's going to catch something not nice i don't know i'm you know i can just i'm not tapping into one airy um aries okay this the messages today are really coming out different ten of swords twice though i'm intrigued what's really going on with aries love life thank you 
the queen of swords that's come out twice now you have uh, the queen of swords the ten of pentacles the chariot and the three of pentacles that is so creepy that's creepy aries i've used a different deck i used this deck just then and i'm using this deck now and you've just got one two three no did, did i do cancer no three of the same cards that from the last one and i picked out five there's somebody from your past there's somebody here queen of swords ten of pentacles someone's either offering you um some kind of commitment okay so somebody wants somebody wants you back somebody wants you back someone's going to ask to meet up with you um somebody's definitely going to let you know how they feel i feel like they've been waiting for a while for what like hold on I'm, I'm a little bit i don't i'm not really sure about like when i say i'm not sure yet i mean i don't really like yeah the ten of um swords and the queen of swords so for me that's showing us somebody that's possibly bitter or somebody that's quite jealous did i say jealous at the start of your reading yes i did so maybe you guys need to listen to this again yeah because even this reading i'm just trying to this is mad but somebody is like i want aries aries will be with me i'll do what it takes but maybe that's the same person that i was picking up with who's like not really like mentally stable or or i don't know what they've gone through if it's if they have addictions or if they just have like serious if they got bad a bad temper or i don't know what i don't know what it is yet the ten of pentacles the chariot the three of pentacles somebody wants you back somebody wants you back somebody want is going to ask to see you like i said three of pentacles and they want to work through something so some of you guys it will be um um reconciliation with with somebody from your past how will this end up if aries if aries is open and goes and goes along with this how will this be what would the outcome be thank you thank you so it will be the four of cups in reverse so that's a missed opportunity in reverse somebody you you may be open to this the hanged man but you're, you're definitely thinking about why this person's coming towards you you're thinking about all the different reasons because it might have ended bad or it may it may not have spoken to this person for a while and the nine of pentacles in reverse You may, and the nine of pentacles in reverse and the ten of pentacles upright. Some of you guys may end up in a relationship. This is one of the craziest reads I've ever done in a while. This is one of the, this is one of the most, uh, what on earth is this? You may actually end up in a relationship with this person. I don't even know what to say. I mean, I don't like... I'm I'm blown away. I'm blown away. You may end up in a relationship with this person. Or continue something with them. Aries, I'm going to leave it there. I was only going to make this reading a 10 minute one. But the messages that come out, I was intrigued, yeah. Um, remember, these are predictions as well. Some of you guys, yeah, you may watch this and be like i don't know what she's talking about and in three months time four five six months time you'll you'll be like oh let me watch one of the old videos and then you'll you'll, you'll find this one you'll be like oh my god okay it happens all the time guys you may get back with an ex who you once called crazy or acted crazy anyways i want to leave it there this is like this this okay i just i don't even know what to you may end up in a relationship is, is looking very likely i'm going to leave it there guys enjoy your life <laughs> anyways that yeah that's that's okay you're gonna work through it I, I don't even think some of you guys even saw this coming some of you guys you didn't even think you'd hear the luck that you, you thought you'd you wouldn't hear from this person again or anyways all right i'm gonna leave it there guys all right i'm gonna leave it there for real uh if you want a personal reading all the information in the, in the description box below thank you for joining me i appreciate you all and i'll see you in your next reading bye guys